Welcome to this video. We are going to give you an overview of what is Arco Linux. This is for people who never heard about it and want to quickly see, hey, is this something for me? Should I install it in VirtualBox first or going to install it on my machine? So what do we get? We get this is the first image you'll ever see. Arco Linux is just installed out of the box. These are all applications that are installed. They have uh, nice themes, icons like this, icon like that. I mean, it should be all themed. It's also, um, um, well, easy to, to figure out. I mean, there are websites. Here, here are some icons that are not um, themed. They're all explained. There are lots of tutorials. I think we are over 300 tutorials already. So this one is quite easy. Just type hard code fixer and that's it. And then we'll just wait for the program to fix the, the icons that are the, the project engineers did not fix. So for instance, Zoom was wrong. Voila, Zoom is now fixed. And all these applications from HP, they provide wrong icons. And with this little program, that's done. So things like that, I mean, that's Arco Linux. We want to have a beautiful theme uh, and a beautiful look on our system. And we don't want any frustrations. We just install stuff and we change the appearance to whatever color we feel like today. Hibiscus, dark, manly. So this is the Horse 3180 theme, arc theme, but we've made a little script and it changes all the colors to the wallpaper to fit the wallpaper or to fit a theme or fit icons as well so it's all up to you to decide what colors you have lots of change you can do here also adapter is available nocto acta uh, lots of elements so let's go for a color i wanted to go for the bunch dark so a lot of icons have been installed already, pre-installed. The idea of Arco Linux is no frustration. Choose the wallpaper, choose the theme, choose the con key, done, right? Just the cursor, these things I'm setting right now. If you like the arc theme, go for the arc theme. Like Faba theme, <laughs> go for Faba. There's also Hello Dark, which is quite nice. The Mocha theme, you know, Numix theme, you know. Numix Circle Arc is a combination of, 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 arc folders and numix folders so we created that one ourselves so things are coming from the net some of the things we created ourselves paper icons and so on and so on and so on all right so you choose whatever icon you want let's go and promote somebody else's icon theme hello right then the font you can choose a slightly larger font it's up to you to decide even another font it's all up to you we have chosen for noto to go for that one and settings if you want to change the settings there you can so this is xfce with now this icon theme that we've uh, changed we can quickly go to a conky say hey i would like to have a conky why not let's move that out of the way what am I doing? All right, <laughs> so we scroll down and we see a war nemesis is one of those I kind of like. That's this one and we have tons of others. I'm not going over that. Just an overview, hope to keep it short. So lots of conkeys, just click and go. That's the idea. Now, this is now XFC. You can keep in XFC and be very happy, but you can also say, hey, what about what about oh sorry what about if i go to log out and then learning path we would go from xfc to open box and then to i3 so there are three desktop environments on the same system so yes the conky is there so he he remembers there was a conky wasn't there yeah there was a conky so right mouse click this is something else there is no button here start or anything so this right mouse click and welcome to open box a terminal file manager and so on we can change and we can add the conkeys as well from here the same conkey and we have here wallpapers we can choose things we can change all appearance kind of things so theming is important for us i think you get that right now uh, so a lot of appearance stuff in here we want to look at our screen from six in the morning 
till 11 in the evening with a beautiful screen you know everything tweaked and fun so that's nice maybe you would like to change the wallpaper yes we can so next wallpaper or the next wallpaper or the next wallpaper and so on so there are lots of wallpapers go to the wallpaper selector and there are also wallpapers that are not coming from us this one is not coming from us so how does it work it works via desktopper.co so it's a, a website check it out i think my thousand and so, so much more wallpapers are on there and people always ask hey eric you have so much so nice uh, wallpapers hey where are they coming from well i don't look for them it's variety that sends me and then i say hey view a desktopper i log in log in i link my dropbox account with it and then click on the cloud and it's it's there i have it it's on my machine it's on any of my machines that are linked to dropbox simple as that so that's neat tricks all fun to have and that's what it needs to be in linux system or in operating system it needs to be fun right mouse click again let's exit open box log out and the last is i3 i3 is awesome i like i3 and why because i'm a keyboard driven guy i like to press these buttons and, and say okay ctrl alt v or Ctrl Alt F and F is Firefox, V is Vivaldi, G is Chrome, Google Chrome. Eh? Uh, so we can close things up quickly. We can say, let's make a new terminal here and we can do lots of, of stuff and it's all tiled. That's what you see. It's one third, one third, one third. It's going to be tiled, but I have here super two I'm pressing now and I say, let's put Atom on this screen with a shortcut super F2, Atom is loaded. But I come to think of it, it's, I want to do something in GIMP, so super three, and I say, let's launch GIMP, or in this case, Inkscape, my, escape, my mistake. And this one is Inkscape, oh, sorry, it's GIMP. So it's incredible, flexible, and you know what to do. They always do this still. So there you go, done. Super F5, Super 5, Super F5, Melt is loaded. So all these applications are now open. I have 10 screens like that, 10 workspaces. I have now 10 monitors on the same thing. So that's, that's neat, it's fun, it's fast, it's minimal in use of um, consumption of RAM and CPU and all that. So that's also interesting. You can check out the Conkey, it's there to help you to find the shortcuts to say, hey, how do I quit? S is super, super X, and we're out again. We have here an, uh, a choice, log, log out. I'm gonna log out and log back into XFCE, what you're accustomed to, maybe. And there you go, we are back in, and this was my short presentation of what it is, what is Arco Linux. Enjoy.